Welcome to this Wii Video Podcast Creation Screencast. In this video, I'm going to talk about and show you how to lay out your audio to create your podcast. So before we do that, one thing we should mention is it's a good idea to pre-plan out what you plan to do. Uh, your teacher may give you a storyboard, something that looks like this, where you can write yourself a script. Because again, you, wanna, you want this to come across as you're telling a story. Uh, if you did an interview, you don't want this to just be question, answer, question, answer. You want to have some narrative that goes along with that and invite people to listen and, and things like that. So you may get a storyboard like this where you can talk about what image will be on screen, what the audio will be that's taking place, and if you have other audio clips that you need to bring in. It's a very good idea to pre-plan this out. Once that is planned out, when you actually get into WeVideo, then you need to think about how you're going to lay out your audio. A recommendation for laying out your audio might look something like this. This is in WeVideo, and this has two audio tracks. You can see they're uh, symbolized by these little music notes here, and I've named these. So this one is the interviewer track, meaning anything that goes on this row is the interviewer asking the question. So this might be question one. And then on the subject track, or the interviewee track, this would be answer one, question two, answer two. So it kind of looks something like this. Here's your questions, here's your answers. Now it's a good idea to do this on two different tracks because then you create a sense of this sounding like a more natural conversation. As this clip ends, you can actually move these clips a little bit to overlap. So it sounds like the question is leading right into the answer. We'll get into that as we do some more editing. But I like to mention this now uh, just as a way to edit your audio. You might be thinking, well, why can't I just put my audio all on one track like this where it's question, answer, question, answer. Again, this creates some gaps in your audio, some, uh, and it just doesn't sound very natural and free-flowing. So we're going to suggest and recommend that you lay things out into audio tracks. So here's how you do that. Let's go over to WeVideo. I left off with just having one video track and one audio track. You can click this plus symbol here to create another row or another track. I'll create, I'd like to think of these like train tracks running side by side. Uh, so let's see, I'll call this one the interviewer and make sure you choose audio. Hit OK. So now this is an audio track. I can see that the little music notes are there, meaning that's sound. I can change this audio one just by clicking on the name. I'll put that as subject. And now I can start laying my tracks, my, uh, sorry, laying my clips down. I'll refer to these as clips up here. So if I'm looking at this, and I want to put question one, answer one, question two, answer two. Uh, here's, here's what the person responded with when I was recording their audio. So they're going to go on the subject track. And I can press the space bar at any time to listen to this. And I can hear there's the, there's the response. There may be some other stuff in here that I don't want. I can trim these clips when they're here in the track. I can move my mouse cursor to the side and the little arrows appear, I can click and drag and move this in so I can see that the clip should really end right about there is where their response stopped. I can grab question two, I'll lay that over here. So I might do some trimming. I can see there's like a gap here. And if this, if it's hard to see this, this little magnifier over here lets you zoom in and zoom out. I'm gonna zoom in on this just to see the track a little bit. It's not changing the audio, it's just letting you see more of it so that when I trim this, I can say, you know what? I wanna get right closer to that. Uh, so that, oops, I zoom out. I gotta scroll sometimes to find where my audio is. And if I listen to this, I can see that the response really ends right about here. So I could trim this in here. So I'm gonna lay out my audio in that fashion. Now we'll get into recording and, and adding your questions here um, in the next segment, but just wanted to show you how you can lay out your audio and start kind of piecing together what you're going to do for your podcast. Thanks for watching.